Andrew Tate's warped angels threatened OnlyFans models if they dared to even sniffle on camera, says prosecutors. Andrew Tate's so-called angels tightly controlled his six trafficking victims as they ran their OnlyFans accounts for him, prosecutors said. Tate's enforcers, Georgiana Nagel and Luana Radu, are alleged to have threatened and bullied the women who he is said to have lured to Romania. Misogynist influencer Tate and his brother Tristan are accused of turning the six women into slaves after trafficking them. It is alleged the operation would exploit the women, taking half of their earnings as they carried out sex work on OnlyFans. And a new 61-page cache of documents from prosecutors lays out the allegations in new detail, including the roles of Nagel and Radu. The Tate brothers and the two women have denied all allegations against them. The court documents, dated December 30, were released to news agency Reuters. It came after the Tates had their appeal for release denied, meaning they will stay in jail until at least February 27. Nagel and Radu would allegedly take half of their revenue and tightly control the content the women posted online. They would allegedly use TikTok to drive traffic to the women's accounts on OnlyFans. The models would be fined for infractions such as sniffling on camera, said prosecutors, and Nagel and Radu allegedly threatened violence if the women did not work. Nagel, 28, is reported to be Andrew's girlfriend, while Radu, 32, is reported to be a former police officer. New documents were revealed yesterday which also include allegations of rape against Andrew. The 36-year-old is accused of twice raping one of the six women after luring her to Romania. Tate's lawyer Eugen Vidniak argues that the sex was consensual and has accused the alleged victim of fabricating the rape claims. Andrew and Tristan, 34, are being probed by Romania's specialized organized crime unit Die ICOD. They have been detained since their arrest in December. Prosecutors allege he used deception and intimidation to bring the six victims under their control and transform them into slaves. The Tate's lawyer Vidniak claims that the women were not mistreated and they were not forced into sex work. And two of the women, named as Beatrice and Iasmina, appeared on Romanian TV to insist they are not victims. But the other four alleged victims have not yet commented on the case. Prosecutors allege Tate, a popular influencer who describes himself as a misogynist, controlled the women's earnings on OnlyFans. Tate has previously bragged he had 75 women working for him, earning him approximately £500,000 a month. He built up an image that appealed to teenage boys, creating an online empire that made him one of the most searched people on Google. He showed off expensive cars, hung out with glamorous women, and smoked cigars. Masquerading as lifestyle advice, much of the content is actually highly sexist and promotes violence against women. His influence has had a worrying spread amongst young men and boys, with one UK MP saying he is brainwashing children. Now many of his cars have been locked up by Romanian cops, who have seized more than £3 million worth of assets from him. Tate initially gained fame after a short-lived appearance on Big Brother. He was dumped from the reality show after alleged footage of him beating a woman emerged online. Since then he has sparked revulsion and outrage with a wave of warped content online. Labour MP Alex Davies-Jones called on the UK government to take action on the spread of Tate's content, with teachers already revealing a worrying spread in schools. Schools across the UK are in crisis as the effect of online influencer Andrew Tate's vile misogyny infiltrates our classrooms and society, said Ms Davies Jones MP. Teachers are now having to develop their own resources to re-educate boys who are being brainwashed online by his deeply toxic messaging. Washington DC-born Tate was banned from Twitter in 2017 for violating its terms of service with his controversial comments. In August, Tate was banned from a range of other social media sites, only to then be reinstated on Twitter after the company was taken over by Elon Musk. Andrew and Tristan vehemently deny all accusations made against them, 
a spokesman for the Tates told The Sun Online.